Bucky, um, do you thrive on the big games like the derbies? Uh, yeah, I suppose as a, as a club we do. Um, sort of as been stated in the past, you've got to beat the best to be the best. Um, so I suppose we look forward to the, the challenge this week. And um, just like last week, it's going to be a tough game, and it always is. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Good memories uh, last season when the Ross Glendinning? Yeah, oh, it was one performance last year, but um, I suppose for me last year I was a little bit inconsistent So, um, as a whole over the whole year. So I'll look to sort of build on my form this year and, and try and play another consistent game this week. Did that performance give you a lot of confidence that you can do it in big games though? Um, I suppose for me the confidence came last year through my pre-season and I had a really strong pre-season last year and that's continued this year. So. Um, I suppose AFL footy is always tough and um, for me last year that result was um, sort of support from my teammates really helped me um, in that game so it doesn't really give me confidence for big games but um, I suppose my work um, before the game does. It's a week early actually, you play 49 this week provided you get through you'll play 50 next week, what does 50 games for the club mean to you? Um, oh, it's not really much of a milestone I suppose 50 games but um, yeah, I, I love my time at the club and, and have done uh, for four years now. So, um, yeah, I'm loving it at the club and hopefully there's many more to come. Cam plays his 50th this week from pick 71. What does that say about uh, his mental strength and his ability to perform straight out of the gate, really, from getting drafted in 2011? Yeah, yeah. So he uh, came through the door the same time as me and straight away you could tell that he was a really switched on guy and really driven and um, that's shown in his performances as well. He's always consistent back there and... Um, it's a credit to him and his work work ethic um, as well. Lucky clearance wins in both the first two games. That'll be a key again against West Coast. Yeah, definitely. They've got a strong midfield. Um, obviously, Prittis, Brownlow, medalist, Luke Shuey, um, Scott Selwood, if he plays. They're a great midfield. So we're going to have to bring it again. And the first two weeks have been important for us in the midfield. So it'll be a key again um, this week. How big of a loss is Ballantyne? Yeah, we love Ballas. We love him to play every week. And he brings that manic pressure and obviously goal scoring ability. So. Um, we've got guys that we think can come in and cover his role and um, there's plenty of guys putting their hand up as well so we're really comfortable that someone will come in and, and step up. What about yourself? Maybe pushing forward, keeping a couple of few goals as well? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I sort of need to hit the scoreboard. I didn't hit it too much last year so uh, we'll see. I, I'm not sure what the plan is. Um, it's very early in the week so... Um, yeah, the match committee will so decide um, who's going to fill that forward role. Are you still feeling comfortable running alongside the guys like Pike, Mundy, Barlow, those sort of guys? Yeah, I think it's um, sort of, oh, I'm sort of in awe of those guys, and um, I can learn heaps off them. And Fife, Mundy, Barlow, Hill, um, all those guys have been fantastic for my development, and will continue to be. I've still got a lot of uh, room to grow, and um, I suppose having those guys around me, uh, it's really going to help. Just on Fife, Mundy, Barlow, Hill, plenty made of their games at the weekend. They're all sensational. It must be nice for someone like you to pay sort of, you know, fifth fiddle along them and pick up 24 and go about your business without the sort of pressure and also the, the sort of hype as those guys. Yeah, I suppose for us, we um, we want to build a really strong and, and um, a midfield with a lot of depth. So uh, we've got a lot of guys that can rotate through there, Clancy Pierce and um, those sorts of guys as well. So there's a lot that can run through there and. With those bigger bodies and stuff, it is hard for the opposition to match up on everyone. And yeah, they can't tag Fife, Mundy, Hill, and Barlow, can they? So yeah, it's important for us. What have you made of your um, first two games of the season? I'm um, slowly building. I probably didn't have my best week um, uh, in round one. And last on um, Sunday we played. Yeah, Sunday um, I was okay, but yeah, I'm still building, and hopefully can just play some consistent footy and and hold my spot. Because um, as you know, there's a lot of guys pushing up from underneath and. Yeah, it's going to be tight for spots. Just on Zach Park, have you spoken to him at all about his knee, how he's feeling? I know he's listed as being a test, but how sort of he feel about it? Yeah, I actually haven't seen him since um, we got off the plane, so I couldn't tell you what's going on there. Yeah. Well, we've got a good record against West Coast, uh, won the last five. Why do you think that's the case and what difference do you see coming up on Sunday? Yeah, there's not really much of a difference, I suppose, from team to team. We play the way that we want to play and um, I suppose when we've matched up against West Coast, we've brought our um, effort and intensity and everyone's played their role. So not much really changes and um, hopefully that continues, but yeah, we'll wait and see. West Coast midfield is a perceived weakness from critics looking in. How do you guys find when you match up on them? Oh, I don't think they're, that's a weakness of their side at all. Like I said before, they've got really good mids and they're really capable and competent in there. So um, we're going to have to be on our best um, again and hopefully we are. And um, yeah, it'll be a, a tough battle in there. 
important you get on top with Josh Kennedy and the sort of goal kicking form he is? Yeah, coming off a uh, bag of 10, obviously he's kicking him pretty well. So um, we've got strong um, team defence that won't be one-on-one -on -one or anything like that. We'll try and um, support Luke or whoever goes to him as a team and um, yeah, hopefully curb his influence, but he's a great player. Just back on Hayden, it might be coincidence, but he lost three of the four he missed last year. So he's a, a really important player for the defensive pressure that he brings and setting the barometer for the team. Do the guys conscious of that and do they have to step up in his absence? Yeah, as I said before, he brings great pressure, like he said, to that forward line. And um, I suppose for us, we've just got to make sure that whoever comes in and plays that role, they've got to feel that just as well. And we're confident that um, whoever does come in will do that. Were you disappointed at all that he's suspended again? I mean, he's probably a little bit un unlucky in this sense that it's not necessarily an undisciplined act? Or... Yeah, we love the way that Hayden plays. And he plays on the edge and he, you can see it um, all the time. He's really physical guy and um, loves to be in the contest and it was just an unfortunate incident I think so um, no it's not disappointing um, f as in we're not angry at him but it's just yeah unfortunately he's not playing and he's probably more disappointed in himself than anyone else so. How did everyone pull up on Sunday do you know pretty good or? Yeah I think everyone's pretty good um, I couldn't tell you the exact diagnosis on um, injuries and all that sort of stuff because um, we haven't sort of gone through that so yeah but from what I've heard all the boys are I'm ready to go for this week.